right guys we are here and I'm just uh, just getting ready to put on my bait first bait I'm gonna start out with is a Jake criminal color white and orange something that uh something that will stick out in this dirty water um, I'll be honest this is my first time fishing from shore here and uh, if I catch one I don't know if I'll be able to land it the way these rocks are I mean the way these rocks are I can't really get down there and they're slick and it's kind of a kind of a weird drop-off so it's definitely gonna be it's gonna be interesting especially being solo you know I it's gonna be hard we'll see what what happens but I don't know hopefully if I do catch one it isn't too big <laughs> so let's uh let's throw out there and see if we can get us a muskie I brought another rod um, for bass or walleyes and uh, we may try that here in a bit if I don't feel confident with the muskies so I've already seen some people trolling around we got a real real hard south wind today it's blowing about 20 um, I wanted to fish the other side actually but the wind is so so strong I'd be casting right into the wind and I just I wouldn't get my cast distance that I want and I'd probably get pretty wind burnt so I fished this uh, north north side of this wall here and we got a good ripple coming through this this bridge and and yeah uh, maybe maybe there's some fish hanging out here and picking up some bait so we're gonna throw for muskies and uh, let's see what happens there was one right there there was one right there a muskie just came up right in front of me a muskie just came up right in front of me I swear. A muskie just came up right in front of me. That was nuts. This is more of a spring, spring type of bait here, but um, I figured Figured maybe these fish want something small, something easy. We're just gonna twitch this Jake around and see what see what happens. About nine foot out here, so good depth. kind of set up I got my net already pulled out and ready and uh, yeah because if I hook into one by myself it's gonna be it's gonna be tough so obviously muskies here so the start of a minor all right literally a minor starts at 637 it is 6 638 so that's a good sign we'll see what happens see if fish get active here just looking for one little musky don't need to be giant this place has some giants but just need one I'd be tickled Seen a couple, seen a couple fish so far.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, fish on. Big fish too. Oh, it's a muskie. It's a muskie on the crank. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Got him. Yeah. We got him. He hit a uh, little square bill. And uh, he's, he's a little one, probably only 28, 30 inch fish. So that's awesome. Well, I, uh, I just uh, released that fish. He took a little bit. I tried to keep him in the water for as long as I could, but this this steep drop off here, it's I couldn't really keep the net in the water and get my uh, glove and pliers at the same time. But he's off, he's gone. It took him a little bit and he just sat there and then he just slowly took off. So first cast with a Guggen Squad crankbait he hit it right next to shore. Like I said, uh, I just wanted to catch one, and I wanted it to be small because going solo, it's not easy. So hopefully you guys uh, got to see the shot of that fish. Um, yeah, we're going to fish a little bit longer, and uh, maybe we'll catch another one. If not, that, that was awesome. Second muskie for me this year from shore, all from shore. And um, my first Lake Milton muskie. So, so yeah, let's uh, let's uh, get get back out there and maybe catch some more fish. So here's what that uh, that little muskie came on, a little Guggen Squad. I think this is called the Banger. I'm not quite sure. It's a square bill, shad color. And if you've guys watched my um, old videos. My buddy Tyler catches a 40 inch muskie out of this lake with me and he was throwing a crank similar to that. So that's why I picked it up and first cast, man, he, he plowed it right next to shore. So that was cool. You can see uh, my hooks are a little, little bent, but yeah, let's, uh, maybe we'll go get another one. I just gotta, I gotta get my uh, body calmed down for a second. So, all right, let's go. So yeah, like I said, right before that, um, we're in a little miner here and the conditions are pretty good for muskies anyway. Um, yeah, see, I'm just, I'm looking at this bridge here and I see some current blowing through it cause we got a, we got a strong south wind and I know muskies like current and um, especially, you know, this lake, the reason this lake is, is muddy, the water, water clarity is pretty bad here mostly that's that's because um, it's a river system so um, the water is always flowing it's always churning not much for weeds in this in this lake but um but yeah um, it's a good musky lake and uh, a lot of guys out here trolling crankbaits crankbaits are uh, a hot ticket here so we'll see if we can stick us another one and then uh, yeah, we will uh, get out of here. All right, guys, I'm about to head out of here. But first, one thing I hate is trash. I mean, there's trash littered up and down this this bank here, and. Uh, yeah, just, I can't stand it. If you bring something to the lake, just do your best and try and pick it up. I know a lot of a lot of other fishermen would say the same. So, so yeah, please pick up your trash. It isn't that hard. And uh, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Right now I am headed home. So we just ended up with that one muskie. I couldn't even get any bass to go. I was hoping to maybe pick up a small mouth or so. Um, I didn't mean for that to rhyme either. 
But yeah, I'm headed home. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And also, I'm still wanting to do a giveaway. So tell me what, what tackle I should give away. Musky tackle, bass tackle, walleye tackle, crappie tackle. I don't care. Um, yeah, so I want to do a giveaway soon. And just let me know what, what you guys want to win tackle-wise. So I'm headed to North Carolina next week to visit um, some of my wife's family. And I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a license and I'm gonna do some bass fishing down there. So um, maybe uh, maybe we'll catch a couple fish down in North Carolina. So so yep. Yeah, thank you guys so much and uh, take it easy and we'll see you here soon.